Our bodies became the last form of identifiable commodity, the last bit of material attachment left for ourselves to hold on to. And we did just that, held on to it as if only to preserve each line that traced the wrinkles of a history scattered across our face. The extent that we had attempted to delay the signs of age, rejuvenate our souls with a microdermabrasion, our history of vanity, the lifestyle of fashion, was all gone. In man's quest to colonize outer space, developmental biology and zero gravity has posed an unreasonable risk to capable mothers. The defense requires comprehensive assessment and federal restrictions to regulate the genetic adaptation of simple organisms in a gravity-stressed environment. The following method of birth control requires a direct role in controlling the pattern of embryogenesis. The disruption of the embryonic pattern is a critical period when gravity is important for fetal development. Gravity sensors inherited in our own coding requires disabling the vestibular detection of angular changes. The body's natural ability to sustain a homeostatic environment congested the senses with alternative means of growth development, an exponential amount of alternatives. Normally, the body would create a linear path that would sequence our gestation. The pull of gravity would automatically mature our elongated form and stature according to our existing north and south poles. Without gravity, the skeleton loses its rate of scale. Organs and skin binds into interstitial layers and the brain fragments into particles. Contractions are no longer synchronized notations of delivery, but life-threatening seizures. The mother is administered a barbiturate-induced coma where her body will undergo severe hypertension causing the first phase of prenatal gestation. The Umbra is a device that is surgically implanted within the woman's stomach. Once the mechanism is in place, the hormone-induced placental sac is injected with the fertilized egg of the donor. Calibration begins, confirms, and responds with the capsulating placenta. This maintains protective plaque around the womb while the belly belt radiates the necessary proteins and aminos, but more importantly, the belt has pole sensors. These magnetic simulators allow for the fetus to develop in its preferred genetic adaptation.